What's up, fellas? Here go my uh my C20. I know it don't look like it run, but it do. Um, I just ain't finished putting everything back on there and stuff. But I'll give you a walk around of it first. Like I said, it's messy, you know, right now. But like I said, uh, it goes. Like I said, this, like I got shit. Nah, I ain't gonna show y'all the inside of it. That's how bad it is. It's a long wood base. I do have all of the hub caps for it, you know. But, you know, I got a bunch of stuff back there. I'm gonna get that shit out of there after a while. That's it. I do have all of them. Like I said, I just, once I finally got it running, I pulled it back here. Like I said, I ain't put it all together. I still gotta put the bolts and stuff in the fender, hold it back up. But this the motor, you know what I'm saying? To some, they see junk. But for those that know what to look for, it's 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 not. They know it's not junk, basically. But it's pretty much it's stuff all over. I, I would. I don't have a key. I put the battery on there. I gotta go get the key. It's somewhere. Uh, but the AC and the heat does work in this truck, so that's a plus. But I'll uh, give you the rundown on it. It's a uh, uh, 350. Well, it's not a 350 no more, but it's a 357. It's it's 40 over on the bottom end. I had to board again. Uh, hell, I didn't know it was a 355. I thought it was a 350 when I bought the truck. But it was 355 the whole time. Man, it had them uh, GM good wrench. Valve covers on it, so I don't know if it's that mode or not, but it is a four bolt main block. Uh, when I busted it down and stuff and put it back together, um, I it that's a that intake come off of a 78 79 uh photo Malibu, it's a two barrel intake. I didn't want to put the four barrel on there, longer told me I should have put the four barrel back on there, but well, the younger uncle, my uh. My great uncle, he passed uh, last year. So he the one that recommended me to put the two barrel on there. He said, that's all you need, nephew, when you pulling, when you hauling stuff, when you trying to pull something heavy. He said, you want low end torque, that's the route to go. So I listened to the old man and uh, basically that's the route I went. But yeah, this, uh, this don't look like it's new, but I should have painted it, I knew better. It's the, uh, the damn uh deal for the clutch inside the truck for the goes to the uh clutch pedal for your your hydraulic clutch it's got a slave cylinder and stuff down there it's got it's full speed with the granny low low gear in it so but yeah man this it's like i said this put a new radiator on it and stuff like i said i just got it held up basically right now i caught hell putting this motor back together because uh, I had to get my cousin to help me put it back in. Not putting it together, but getting it back in the truck. I had to take pretty much all this off for that little old uh, engine uh, hoist that I have. I got the one where it's like an A-frame, basically, with the chain hoist. But I don't know where the chain hoist is. My uncle them put it. So I got to find it. It's somewhere on these acres out here. I just got to look for it. So I went and bought one of those from, like, Harbor Freight. The engine hoist to put the motor in here. But, uh... I wish I had my key. The battery might be dead on it. I need to crank it up and stuff. But, uh, yeah, she hold good oil pressure. Uh, I do, I think I need to adjust the lifter on the, one of the, uh, 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 not lifter. One of the valves on the, the passenger side. I think I got like a little tick. And I do have an exhaust leak. I broke one of the bolts when I was getting the, uh, mowed out of the truck and stuff so but yeah uh, that's basically it you know I put a two barrel on it's hard I don't know if it's that's a little cheap cheap carburetor I bought off of Amazon I, I should have knew but I should have went ahead and bought the little Holly but that's a little cheap carburetor I got off of Amazon and uh like I said I think I might end up changing it out one day but just for around I really use this truck just for like around the yard hauling scrap or or anything like that that's what i kind of use it for but uh 
yeah, you know, so it's another one of my babies. So this this actually this is my uh what my here yeah, my first pickup truck. So it got a lot of sentimental value to it. It fought me a whole lot in the beginning, getting it going and stuff. Man, I uh, was I was gonna put when I first got it, I was gonna put my water pump and stuff on there, right? So I I needed a water pump and of course that radiator. So I was gonna be a little, a little smart, but my uncle already told me to ch change it myself. I was gonna take it to the shop. I was like, well, shit, the water pump ain't nothing black. But on the cheap side, 25 to 50 bucks in that margin. And the radiator is probably about 100, between 100 and 140. So I go to the shop and tell them I want this done. And they ask, can I leave it? So they tech could pretty much uh, check it out. And I was like, yeah, I could leave it. So. I left it up there and they gave me a call and she tells she calls me back. She says, uh, yes. She says, uh, what did she say? She said, uh, are you the guy that owns the, the pickup truck basically? The, the C twenty. I was like, yes. And she said, uh, well, we can get that fixed for you. Y'all are gonna need a water pump because it's it's seeping out of the little weep hole and the radiator is a little bad. I said, Well, I kinda had told y'all that y'all didn't have to do a uh 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 inspection, but I already told you what's wrong with it basically. So she was saying like for the radiator and the water pump, it's going to be like $648. I said, ma'am, for a radiator and a water pump? She was like, yes. I said, it's an old car. I said, those parts aren't that expensive. And she kind of got silent, basically. So I was like, all right, I'll come up there and get my truck. So I went up there, got went back up there and got my truck. I had to pay them $40 for diagnosing what I already told them what was wrong with it. I got my truck, I filled it up with some water and brought it on back to the house. And then of course I started working on it and stuff, but yeah, but that was back in 2013, I think 2014, somewhere in there. Yeah, but like I said, I just gotta, I gotta put everything back together. I wanna sand it down, get it smooth and put a cheap paint job on it. Like I said, I ain't looking for a showroom paint job. I just want some color on it. Or it can be it can be primer gray or flat color. Like I said, it's it's all about what satisfies you, what you happy with. You ain't out here trying to impress nobody else. I actually have a a, a, a this is like a hobby to me. I, I like just, I just like old cars. I've been around them all my life. My uncle's